Welcome back everybody. We are designing a microstrip branch line coupler using Pathwave ADS advanced design system. And this is where we left last time. So we have this microstrip structure and we wanted to optimize it uh, using ADS uh, to achieve particular performance. Specifically, we wanted to achieve uh, at frequency 1.4 gigahertz, actually between frequency 1.4 and 1.6 gigahertz at least negative 20 dB of S11 and S41 and we are not able to achieve this after the optimization but we were able to achieve you know decent performance for the other parameters like these transmission figures or the phase shift and like maybe we set or we wanted to achieve a goal that was after all unachievable and that's why it is important always to you know uh, perform the ideal simulation first because that can tell you what you should expect from your realistic design. So if you, even if you look at your ideal simulation, you'll find that you are not able to achieve negative 20 dB level at 1.4 and you know 1.6. So how could you achieve that in the more realistic design? So that motivated me to uh, uh, take a retry of this optimization. And I created a new schematic here that I'm calling BLC Microstrip Optim 2. So it is, you know, file save as version of this schematic that you see here. So let me open that real quick. So here what I'm doing is I changed this, uh, uh, this, this goal to negative 18 dB because that's what I see in my ideal. That's what I see around in the ideal uh, simulation. That's what I'm getting like negative 18 or so. So uh, we will never be able to achieve 20 dB. So I said, okay, let's try achieving 18 dB at least. And when I optimize this, like, you know, I, I, did, I didn't change anything else except that I changed this goal S11 to 18 and S41 to 18. And then I optimized this structure. And after optimization, uh, the result that I got is, let me just turn this off and so this is another thing that I added here just to help me, you know, not do the simulation quickly. So once I have optimized it from 1.4 to 1.6 and accepted the result, I can just go ahead and uh, disable this and enable this one. That will help me simulate this design from 1 to 2 gigahertz. And then if I run hit simulation button, this is what I will get. So this result is more closer to what I will get in the ideal, what we were getting in the ideal simulation, very close to that 18 dB or so. And this performance is also uh, decent, uh, very close to what you're getting in the ideal simulation here, very close to that. So, uh, of course, in the realistic design, you will have a bit more transmission loss here, the insertion loss here. So that's what you're, you're seeing, but, but despite that, all this looks very, very nice, very nice performance compared to the ideal. So suppose this is the design that uh, we have accepted now, and this is where we will proceed uh, now on to design our uh, layout. So to that end, what we'll do is we'll go here and say file save as, and let's me call, let me call it my BLC micro strip and layout or after all, we are going to perform the EM simulation. So let me see EM and say version one, electromagnetic version one. And there are a couple of things that I will do. First of all, I don't need the substrate definition anymore. So I will remove this one from here for now, remove this one from here. And also I don't need it because after all, we'll use the momentum simulation to simulate all this. And I don't need this optimizer. I don't need these goals, so I just remove that. So what you see here is the uh, variable definition and this is structure here. Now I can also remove these ports, although it is not required, but I will, I will just remove it because I don't need it. Instead, to make layout, I will uh, connect pins that basically serve as a port in the uh, momentum, the layout window. Once I have done, done that, I will just you know, hit save button here. Now to generate a layout, it is very easy to generate layout in ADS. And to do that, you go to layout and say generate update layout and press OK. And press OK. Let's see how it looks like. Wow. So 
this is how this uh, you know coupler layout will look like uh, it automatically basically uh, yeah, looks at this window here sorry a look at this schematic and from here uh, ADS will generate the corresponding layout and on this layout this this is how your PCB will look like on the this structure will look like on the PCB and on this uh, layout structure we will now perform the uh, uh, electromagnetic simulations so just to keep the video uh, small I will just uh, stop here and in the next part of this video I will simulate and I will do the electromagnetic simulation of this structure so see you in a bit